Hi guys, Ryan here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I cook my own mutton curry. So as you can see, the first thing I usually do is that I cut my mutton into like really small pieces as you can see like um, just like little cube sized um, yeah little cube sized uh, pieces of meat yeah so that's what I would first do because you know when you get in the shop you just get one big bit of meat you can't really make a curry out that because you know that's actually not how it does that's just not how it works anyway so um, what I would do next is I just do what my mom usually tells me so um, I get a get some salt. I will just whack. Um, I just whack a bit in. To be honest, if I'm being honest with you, just enough. You know, you just know when it's enough, right? <laughs> yeah, I think that's about enough. And then what I would do is, I would put on some le put in some lemon. Just just enough. That sounds about right. That looks about right. Um, what else? Would, um, mm -mm -mm. Mm, to give it some flavor as well, um, add some uh, garlic puree, just so it just gives it like a nice um, a smell, a bit of flavor. Um, you also got to add just a hint of uh, turmeric. Um, this usually, I don't know what it's for, but shit, you just got to add it, you know. Add a bit of that in. Um, you know, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but... I'll probably remember at the end and I'll just be like tripping over my feet to put it back in. Um, yeah, so then I get a spoonful of like uh, curry powder. Um, depending on how, how spicy you want it. Um, yeah, I will just put that in too. And then, um, yeah, put that in. Let me just wipe this out for you. Well, for me actually. Um, yeah, so that's in there. I do feel like I'm missing something though. Um, do you know I'll just take the risk. Let me mix it now. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so what I put in originally just now, I put in some salt, some turmeric, some garlic puree, and some uh, curry powder. So let me just mix this stuff up. Oh, and I put some lime juice as well. I think, I don't know, the thing is, right, I don't really know why we add in all this stuff. I just know it just tastes nice. Well, when my, when my mom cooks it, I will find out if it tastes nice when I cook it. Yeah, so just go and mix it up, mix it up a little bit. It smells alright. So I can't lie, it actually does smell kind of nice. But yeah, so as you can see, the colors changed a bit, obviously, because you just mix stuff in. Um, it's went to a nice brownish color. It actually smells really nice too. So yeah, I'll just leave this to the side and I'll just let it marinate for a bit. Um, I feel like you could give it a bit longer to marinate usually, but today, just for the purpose of this video, uh, I'll, I don't want to be wasting too much time to let it marinate. Anyway. Then what you do is you get your um, a chopping board. It's a little bit blood stained, but that's okay because you know it's gonna help marinate the juice on. Uh, it's gonna the onion is gonna um, 
mix the juice in, the blood juice in, and it's just probably to make it taste nice. So that's what I'm gonna say. But yeah, um, just peel the onion. I think, um, I think one should be enough. Uh, just for now. Um, yeah, get one onion. Just peel it all off. Cut the onion off. Cut off the end and the and the top. Yeah, just give it a little. Yeah, I'll cut. Oh shit! I need to cut myself. So, yeah, gotta be careful for that. Gotta be careful for that. Am I even cutting this right? I feel like it's the other way around. You know. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh. But this is a stupid size onion. Look at it. What, like, what am I, how was I supposed to know? Yeah, so what I would do is I'd cut up my onion into like really small pieces. Um, something along these lines. Um, yeah, I think you can also leave them um, like this, but I prefer to just have them all um, cut up. Um, do that, as you can see. I don't know, something is just telling me that I am missing something, but I can't, I, I literally cannot, I literally don't know what it is. I can't place it at all. It's going it's to be something dumb, innit? It's going to be something dumb. I'll just look back at it and I'll be like, ah, oh, fuck's sake. But yeah, so I've cut my onions up. Um, I have work tomorrow, yeah, so I'm not going to be spending like all days just cutting onions and, you know, making it all perfect. I don't have time for that. So... Yeah, that's the best job I can do with the time given. My brother's hungry too, so I can't have him eat strips and ready-made food all time, all the time. God be the one to look after the house. So yeah, yeah, my mom's away somewhere else, so I'm going. I'm the one cooking, so this has given me the opportunity to actually um, cook for cook for the house. So yeah. Um, I'd say get one um, bulb of garlic, as you can see. Just obviously Yeah. Just peel off all the skin. Start cutting up into little pieces as just previously just seen. Ooh. But I'm I'm I, I'm actually not on purpose trying to cut my finger off. Uh, the knife is really like blunt so <laughs> every single time that I'm trying to just use it it just it's literally just sliding off now see this is what the biggest joke is yeah before my mum left to go out she actually cut little pieces of garlic and here I am just cutting even more garlic up Complete, complete full. <laughs> 